Yo 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 guys it's Manny back here with another video and in this video I am going to make something that no one ever make really Okay fine but my name is different I know a lot of people have make a video about it, but mine one is different. Uh, mine one is gonna look like something like that. Haha, <laughs> I thought that was actually a funny, but let's start the logo itself. So first click on the plus mark and then just uh, you can just use normal text uh, I, I'm using a V for this logo I think V is very uh, good word to make a logo so I just download an app called Fonto and I used one uh, one font that is called Railway font and I just uh, make a, a V and I save that and now this was V itself in front of you this was the V and when you're gonna do something with this just uh, make this you have to just make something that you like with normal word I choose this V is it is normal and but I'm gonna put something uh, this you can see it, something I just that was looking a almost up but still uh, yeah so when you done that just uh, make something more it was all about uh, adding something I was using polygon tool for that uh, yeah just try to do all the stuff that you can do try your best I was trying that was all depends on your uh, creativity all the stuff that you have just try to do that and when you are feeling okay cool that was that was good just we are just making a structure of a logo and I was thinking that that was might be okay one so when I just get in that uh, let me just grab this now that was looking actually a cooler one just put black color yeah now this one looking is okay to me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna still have a uh, we're gonna select a uh, what tool I don't know what you call that tool but just select your uh, V itself and just like polygon tool first and just put this type of uh, cut that I'm gonna put look close just put lay your cut should be very thin like like so so you can see that it was very like that so yeah and when you're done with this just cut that so that gonna make your logos bit more better so when you're done with this you just gonna select pixels and just put a uh, white color first of all then white color is the best for if you are making logos but you can choose any color that you want so when you're done with that just choose any background you like um, I have a uh, one background up in the screenshots uh, here it is just add that background up here so just do that and let's select the part that I like in the background this one is the best part that I like in the background just uh, put go into color correction just play with it the background you it, it's all depend on your creativity I was just playing with it I'm gonna make something like uh, that I was looking better than mm, let's put green is coming out more so I have to take down that green a bit with the red so I was increasing that a bit so that was looking okay to me this was the uh, now background but now what you have to do is select your polygon tool again and uh, just do that what I'm trying to do uh, it's like the V itself but with like you are doing a, a stroke uh, by yourself or a big stroke that I don't know how to pronounce it but use something like that outline the logo like that and put any color that you like uh, for this logo I'm gonna put uh, uh, the color that greenish these this type of aqua color I don't know how to pronounce that but this is the type of color that I'm gonna have so that was looking pretty cool to me 
so when you're done with that just put on stroke and just put white stroke and put it uh, 22 17 and then go again on the stroke and just put the stroke black this time uh, just like the color black and yeah that was looking cool so what you're now gonna do is now you're gonna check the uh, one tool and check that uh, color part not the stroke and now again put a uh, stroke of uh, black color that is type of inner stroke and outer stroke both now select again the middle part and just uh, I'm just gonna change the uh, color a bit like bluish type of thing that's gonna look more better and uh, be punctured more so yeah when you're done with that just deselect everything and just go into the stroke and just stroke your uh, logo itself the main logo that you have in a that was looking so hot and like look at that the logo is looking very cool and when you're done with that just uh, put some uh, what you call that uh, drop shadow and more drop shadow try to now I'm going to bevel that so logo look 3d typo I always do with my logo as you guys can see I also done that with my own logo also so when you're done with that just uh, do that ok click on ok and just merge the both layer and then transfer that I'm gonna make it bit little because it I have to put the circle in also and now select your circle tool that you have and make one circle like so so it should be thicker a bit yeah that was looking okay let me make a bit bigger and it should have a round circle not like uh, oval type of shape it should be round and make it big, bigger, bigger and when you're done with that click on that tick mark and just make an empty layer and put a stroke of 34 to 5 is okay I'll put in 34 and then deselect it and again click on the stroke and click black color and then that was looking very cool so now just drop shadow it more and just make your logo upper than the uh, circle so it to get logo is more like yeah we want logo to show everyone now just like the background and just put the gradient and now i have this sim simple light or type of thing if you want then you can just find it from google that was easy to find graphic packs type of things that was easy to find in google just get one and just put something that i'm gonna do i'm just gonna put that was make logo a bit better so when you're done with that uh sorry for that when you're done with that select your uh, circle i'm gonna put more or uh, lightning on that circle so that it will like silver type of uh, thing yeah now that is looking more better than the previous one so now select your logo duplicate that and drag it down and just click on that uh, uh, these things and we don't they don't that much we don't need little bit so drag it down from the logo uh, logo and circle so now make an empty layer and just select your square tool and make three bars like I'm gonna make it should be very thinner just make something like that um, make sure you have clicked on that cross mark that up here so that you can make three lines otherwise when you're gonna make second one you will disappear the first one so select fill and put white color on that and put some um, stroke in that with the black color uh, it should be two to one and that is looking okay to me so when you're done with that this uh, left and just transfer it and open that lock type of thingy so when you're doing that it's not that uh, we only need height of them not it so when you're done with that just stack up here and put them up here when you do that just drag this layer up down as the logo and circle and oh my god my photoshop just crashed wait a bit now i'm back with guys i just drag the uh, three lines down as the circle and the uh, uh, logo stack the three lines with one tool and just um, copy them and paste them and yeah my just recording oh shit uh, sorry for that also guys my friend is just calling so when you're done with that just duplicate the layer and just transfer that from here to here that's looking cool so when you're done with that just merge the both layers down and just 
now let's select the drop shadow thingy and just put some of that and make the opacity 82 90 bit that that's looking cool to me so when you're done with that just select your logo and just uh, do some light ring on that also that it looks silver typo thing now just make a duplicate layer drag it down or select the downer one and transfer that to me at uh, first make it rotate it like that so and just do like that yeah that is looking cool it should be cover the whole thing like that that is covering the whole thing click on ok and drag it down everything except the ba uh, background that you have and this will gonna make some good effect with that so when you're done with that just now all the stuff almost done is the logo is almost done just put gradient and other stuff like this one but you have to put it from downer uh, just like so that was looking cool to me so when you're done with that your whole whole logo is almost uh, make so yeah that was just put some lens make sure you put spot or apparatus i don't know yeah that one is so when you're done with this make an empty layer and put uh yeah this one is okay put something more up over yeah that was looking cool to me so when you're done with that just put uh, blur effect on your lens flare twice full effect blur one and was done with this and when you just okay with it fine with it then just um, now your logo, uh, logo is made that is how you're gonna make your logo that is how your logo is gonna look like some oh guys that is the final image of the logo that is how your logo is gonna look like according to me this is the best tutorial that i can make for you guys but that was looking very cool if you want this logo this logo is very versatile logo you can put it with v v name a name or if your name is not from v and a still you can put this logo and i was giving this away in next video so stay tuned just subscribe and like and comment i want and let's see who wins